I like to greet my champions of diversity. Today, I'm going to celebrate the beauty of diversity and just, you know, promoting inclusion in our homeschooling communities, exploring different cultures, traditions, and celebrations from around the world, you know, where you're fostering respect, empathy, and understanding for diverse backgrounds. It's really essential for our children's learning and the importance of creating inclusive learning environments that really embrace diversity, um, equity, and belonging for all students is so essential in education. But I really like for you all to, you know, just go out, explore, introduce your children to different cultures, you know, if you can, if it's not, you know, in person, then just do it virtually. But just make sure you have your children in tune with what's going on in different cultures and let them learn and see the different things that's going on in the world. Together, we can always just thrive in unity and acceptance. So just keep that going and keep that thought process for your young homeschoolers as well. But now what I'd like to do is address my young philosophers. Um, I'd like to get in, have you guys engage in like a thought provoking discussion and really just explore the realm of philosophy and critical thinking in your homeschooling journey. You know, uh, philosoph uh, philosophical inquiries and um, just introducing your children to philosophical concepts as well as ethical dilemmas. Um, and then, you know, the thought experiments that encourage deep reflection and inquiry is it's really great for them to help them learn along the way you know it's like hands-on you're right there they can ask questions from you and get them answers uh, going through children's going family vacations and just have them involved in more uh, cultural things and being philosophical as well but if you can share like some strategies for developing critical thinking skills such as you know logical reasoning um, argument analysis and just problem solving abilities that really will help your children along the way instead of reacting but um you know uh, just giving a response and, and it's a big difference when they learn how to do that but question you know everything and, and speak the truth but continue to stay tuned with us for more homeschooling uh, wisdom we're here to build and grow together Another topic I'd like to discuss is the art of public speaking and communication. Um, so, you know, communicating skills and mastering the art of it, especially in public speaking in our homeschooling journey, uh, it's going to come in handy as we go through our different years and our different um, age groups. But I like for us to, as a community, put our skills together in our, in our task that we have a hand to help one another build you know public speaking skills for our children and master the art of it as well as you know just share some tips and techniques um if you can in the comments to help encourage encourage each other along the way with our different um homeschoolers but you know for an effective public speaking including you know vocal projection body language and speech organization those things need to be worked on and practiced. We can do it at home with one another. But communication skills, you know, the importance of it um, is, you know, being clear and confident. You also want to be able to have communication in various contents, such as, you know, interpersonal relationships and presentations and debates. Um, so speak with confidence and clarity. And continue to join us for more homeschooling insights on how we can help build a stronger homeschooling community doing these things. And, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe.